I'm not sure about whether the timelines coincided or not, but if in case it coincided, I'm sure it must have been a lot more difficult uh, to do those things. So uh, mentally, how was it, was it taxing for you? Was it challenging? Because you enjoy it, like you said already, that you, you, you take the fun side of it and you enjoy the process. But mentally, was it tough to reach that stage of uh, toughness? And then I have a question for Aditya as well. <laughs> well only if I could write thesis on it. <laughs> <And> how I <laughs> felt. <laughs> um, thank you so much. <clears throat> of course, it's it's mentally. There's so much. There's so many questions. The first are always uh, challenging. And if you're asking about motherhood and and you know everything coming together at the same time, I really don't know what I would have done had Aditya not been there by my side. Had it been. Um, John Lelo Aditya. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Lokesh Bhaiya, everybody. I mean, it was it was of course um, a home production, but you know you're, you're part of something. There's a sense of responsibility as an actor and um, credible, credibility as, as an actor that you have to consistently be uh, you know, at it. Of course, we took uh, precautions. That's also not a time where you tell everybody you know, that, okay, this is, this is what's going to happen. It's, it's, the most, uh, it's something which is no kept secret, right? And um, but luckily, most of the stunts and the whole training bit—it was very rigorous training for, for weeks. As I already mentioned, um, very thankful to Keshav sir and, and Bhushan sir. He also took us to NSG um, here in Mumbai, and my God, that has to be one of the best days of my life, where you actually got to fire live. And I came out looking red like an apple. <laughs> and I said, "What happened?" I said, "I don't know. I really enjoyed firing those shots." <laughs> And um, so many emotions, of course, so many things you don't, you want to be conscious, you want to be cautious, you want to be careful. I'm really thankful to, to some um, of the doctors that, um, uh, who, who were supervising this secretly. And uh, so we were mostly left with the talky portion or the walking shots which we could, you know, work manage. around and manage. But all in all, uh, as he said, this was almost felt like, um, when you're more than surreal, like your baby is also part of this this yeah. whole thing. There were always two of us <laughs> putting that effort, two of us walking, two of us saying those lines. One, <laughs> if I'm rehearsing, I'm sure <laughs> um, the baby is listening, and I, I'll never. And I think somewhere the inspiration also comes from what how I've seen my mother, uh, you know, work her way through when uh, she was expecting my siblings, or I'm sure the kind of stories I've heard when she was expecting me. I think uh, the kind of mental makeup, especially we Indian women have, I think it's it's way more stronger than we give ourselves credit for. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, kudos to you for that. And I'm sure the baby must be very proud and happy that my mom has done so much already. Karti hai. <laughs> already very proud. Aditya, my question is to you yes. next. Uh, Maybe said you yes. know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you that. Uh, you know, uh, in 2019 when Uri came, it was widely loved. Now it's coming in the year 2024. Uh, a lot of people outside, you talk about news articles, etc. Some people are saying that, oh, it's a, it's a brilliant coincidence that it's kind of coinciding with the election years as well. Naturally, the next narrative that forms is whether it's a propaganda film. But do you sometimes feel it's unfair? Because you, you, you are from Kashmir, right? So everything that you feel about the film comes straight from the heart, exactly what was mentioned earlier. So do you feel it's kind of unfair when uh, people downplay this emotion of yours and kind of label it as a propaganda film? How do you look at it? So people who label it as propaganda, I don't care about them. It is as simple as that. I really don't care about them because the whole point is that I know uh, where it's coming from. And audience, Indian audience is actually very, very smart. They are really, really smart. They know a film, when they see it, they know which film is propaganda and which film is intent correct. Hai. And my film, ka hamesha, till the time I'm a filmmaker or I'm a producer or I'm a director, the intent will be always right. The day the intent is wrong, I'll stop making films. So I don't care what people say, especially those people, who um, um, agenda-driven critics. The, and it's my observation, I might be absolutely wrong, but I always thought that uh, the downfall of agenda-driven critics happened from Uri. If you notice, that all the people who had said such bad things about Uri at that time, audience just thronged to the theatres. They just went and the result was what happened with Uri. So audience doesn't care. It doesn't care if um, 
what your political agenda is, what 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 you are thinking and how you are presenting uh, the reviews. What it cares about is what is the intent of the filmmaker. And trust me, like we have so many examples right now. We watch a twelfth fail, and we know that the intent of uh, Vidhuvino Chopra was something to make like like a great film. Ab aap usko kaisa bhi review de do, it doesn't matter. Audience will still go for it. So I always feel it's the intent which matters. And over here with me, uh, with all of us, the intent will be always correct. With her, like all her films in last four five years, have been brilliant, back to back hits because of the intent. The intent was correct. So I I generally don't uh, think about. Uh, the critics who call it a propaganda and all that, and and I feel it's the propaganda in their head which is making them look at this film as propaganda. 370 is an India-centric film. It is one film. It's 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 an event which brought literally brought India together. It made India one, which was not there in which hadn't happened in 70 years. It's an incredible story. It's one of the best stories I have ever heard. When we were doing research for this film, the kind of stories we got to Yami, the character she is playing, it's actually based or inspired from a real life woman who actually pulled it off. Priya Mani, the character she is playing, it's actually uh, inspired from real people sitting in PMO and how they figured out the whole thing. And the brilliant bit was that they were almost there were hundreds of people involved in, in it, and nobody leaked even a single information. And I, I, we look. I I I kind of sometimes think of myself as investigative journalist. To get these informations out, you have to really really struggle. But once we got the informations out, we thought it was one of the best stories we have ever. It's got everything. It's a. It's got politics. It's got thrill. It's got drama. It's got action, and it happened like it's inspired from real stories. So, I don't care about what these people say. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Hi. This mic. Hi. I can hear you. I can hear you. पचहत्तर साल पुराना है आजादी के पहले का है जब जम्मू कश्मीर ने भारत के साथ आने का फैसला किया था राजा हरि सिंह ने पैक्ट किया था फिर ये कहा गया था कि रेफरेंडम होगा जिसको लेकर बहुत तमाम बातें हुई फिर आजादी के बाद पाकिस्तान ने आधे पाकिस्तान आधे कश्मीर पर कब्जा कर लिया तो ये मसला काफी पुराना है क्या आप लोग इस फिल्म में सिर्फ आर्टिकल 370 को कैसे हटाया गया इस पर फोकस कर रहे हैं या इसका जो कश्मीर की जो समस्या है जिस वजह से आतंकवाद वहाँ पे फैला पसरा सेपरेटिज्म आया वो तमाम उसके जो कॉज हैं उतने डीप में आप लोग जा रहे हैं या सिर्फ इस पर ही फोकस कर रहे हैं ये मेरा सवाल था एक्चुअली uh, शुड से कि आप, आप फिल्म देखिए बिकॉज अगर मैंने यहाँ पे बता दिया तो बट बट आपको सब कुछ के बारे में थोड़ा थोड़ा समझ में आएगा आपको क्लियरली समझ में आएगा कि ये कहाँ से शुरू हुआ था कैसे हुआ था और इसकी वजह से क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हुई थी वो आपको इस फिल्म में क्लियरली समझ में आएगा हमने थोड़ा थोड़ा एक ढाई घंटे की फिल्म में एक दो घंटे की फिल्म में आप सब कुछ नहीं दिखा सकते हो तो आप हमेशा चूज करते हो कि वॉट इज़ द बेस्ट आई कैन शो which makes the film interesting entertaining for the audience and at the same time gives them an information which is palatable for them uh, otherwise it documentary ban jati to aapko in all probability sab kuch milega aapko information bhi milegi aapko thrill bhi milega aapko entertainment bhi milega aur aap ghar ja ke ye apne parivar walon ke sath discuss bhi karenge ki yaar ye hua kaise tha aur ye kaise hu jis tarike se hua tha ye to kafi kamal ki tarike se hua tha to it has all those elements in it Uh, Yami, this Thank side. Yeah. Uh, this is Adi from Filmian. Uh, Yami, how difficult and easy it was for you to work with your husband for the film? <laughs> was it like that difficult or easy? Um, you've already seen <laughs> how easy it is with with Aditya. I think um, we both professionals. We both uh, respect our professional uh, boundaries, and we don't overthink things so much. um he, he knows he in this film of course aditya has worked as in capacity of a, a writer co-writer and a, a, one of the producers and who's hired me as a professional to do the job that I, that i did 
एंड इफ ओनली इट्स हेल्प मी आई से एंड ना ही सिर्फ इस फिल्म में बट फॉर एनी थिंग दर आई फील यू नो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस समथिंग सम आइडिया विद आदित्य या यू नो आज मैंने सीन ऐसा शूट किया मैंने वैसा किया सो दैट जस्ट इज जस्ट एन ओपन डिस्कशन वी वी एनी वेज हैव एंड सो इट वॉज नॉट डिफिकल्ट एट ऑल आई जस्ट सेट इट इन फैक्ट इट वॉज सो I think very God sent the timing because, as I said, I don't know what I would have done had it not been Aditya by my side because it was a very sensitive time, a very sensitive film, a very important film for us. It's the first fam, first film in the family that's that's first production that's coming out there. So uh, uh, too many things, but at the same time, if as he said, I'm sure is is meeting is conference. Me, apne shab sun liya, par wo bahut zaruri shab hai. Agar intention saaf ho, clear ho, acha ho, to sab acha hi hota hai. So. सारे रित्य अच्छे ही होते हैं मैं भी अच्छा हूँ ऑल्सो ये चीज़ बहुत खास होती है कि फिल्म के बाद जब रिलीज होंगी ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम हर जगह पर फिर कॉमेंट्स भी आएंगे ट्रोलिंग भी होगी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी भी होगी तो आई यू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट एज वेल मेंटली दिस इज फॉर मी यस बोथ ऑफकोर्स ऑफकोर्स मतलब दैट इज गिवन दैट वॉज गिवन माई इंटेंट ऑफ मेकिंग उरी for example my intent of making uri was that i want to make a film which is a tribute to indian army uske upar logon ne usko propaganda bana diya jo bhi bana diya i like eventually i don't care like we don't care that much uh, jisko jaisa sochna ek bar hi film release ho gayi ye audience ki film ban gayi hai uske baad wo kya karte hain us film ke sath wo hamare haath mein nahi hai but uh, in like i i again again saying that uh, striving for excellence and intent these are the two things which we have maintained in this film also and i really really hope that uh, majority of the audience uh, likes this film enjoys this film and uh, appreciates the effort which has gone behind making this film the way it is thank you hi Hello. everyone rashita you're from galata india yeah hi uh, firstly congratulations to the entire team you are aditya yes. hi hi hi, hi. uh the trailer really looks intense power packed and i'm sure it is something we are all watch uh, you know are waiting to watch uh yami if i talk about you firstly it's a treat to watch you on screen we have you know whenever we watch you we are filled with happiness and pride considering your last few roles it's been so strong uh so power packed something that we don't see actors today do back to back but i'm sure it's a feeling of pride for you also to get such amazing roles has that been a conscious decision for you or something that you know the makers were approaching you with these days thank you so much i think you're very generous um yeah i think it all comes from a lot of factors from what's your bent of mind at that point of time maybe i would have uh, maybe my choices Seven eight years back, would wouldn't have voiced out or supported what my uh, perspective would have been. But maybe that's you know the, the, the certain choices you make out of because there's lack of option around you. I'm talking just for myself. But uh, there comes a time in life where you feel you know I have to just stop being this fearful person or fear of. Uh, you know saying no or fear of of not doing films it's okay if i'm not doing anything but i'm not going to do anything substandard anything which i don't have my heart in and i'm just doing for the economics of it i think the day that happened um and the film that followed that thought was i'm not kidding that was uri i <laughs> thank you and um yeah it happens you know we we hear about manifestations and uh, all these things and i think somewhere it must be true you know so at that time when you grab that opportunity you also have to have that understanding that yeah this is that film uh, i am one of the characters in the film the film is not about me but i know what potential it holds then then came bala then came a thursday then came all these films and of course as i said it all culminated into a 370 so it's a journey it's a journey i'm i'm very um, i don't know proud is the word does it sound too um, too much i'm always very uh, uh, you know i underplay a lot i think with words and and uh, i'm very i'm very famous for uh, not doing very famous pr <laughs> i think um but uh, i wouldn't have it any other way because it's my journey it's 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 my journey i don't 
owe it to anyone. Of course, I owe it to my family, owe it to Aditya always says, you know, ki it's not just us, it's also the good karma of generations and generations that we are sitting here together, we got together, like-minded people, like-minded families coming and, and nurturing something nice. So we, we, uh, we believe in these things and I'm so happy that uh, it's, it's co I've come to a point where yes, I can give voice to my choices and the kind of work I want to do, the kind of work that makes me happy and my audience happy, most importantly. Yeah. Hello, hello. Priya Mani. Hello, here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. I was just asking. Priya Mani? Yes. Uh, yes. Lonavla mein kya hua, we don't know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Kashmir mein jo hua, we all know. And uh, I just wanted to know, do you feel as passionately about Article 370, the abrogation, as the rest of the team seems to? Of course, that's why. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. Of course, I do feel special and I do feel happy that I'm a part of such a wonderful film. And I have to thank Aditya Dhar, sir, for personally giving me a call and telling me that there is such a film. And um, he told me the story, he told me what it is all about. And I, rightly, as you know, both of them said that the intention is always right. And I also believe in doing something like that. And which is why I chose to be part of this film. And I'm happy that I'm part of the film. And so thank you so much for having me part thank of the you, film. And thank I hope you. I've lived up to the expectations <laughs> of everybody. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, here. Hello. Uh, left hand side, yeah. Hello. Uh, here, your, your uh, yeah, right hand yeah, side, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. Hi, uh, Shilpa here from Mayapuri Magazine. My question is, 